In today's video, I'm going to show you one of the best concepts to run from any spread offense in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you're brand new to the channel and you don't know anything about me, what I do here is I post Madden 21 tips and tricks every single day on YouTube. We post four of them every day, one at 2, one at 4, one at 6, and one at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. We also live stream every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. So if you're around tonight, come check out the live stream. I'm going to be answering your questions live on stream. Now, um, if you guys watched today's video earlier, I did a scheme on, or a, a little bit of a breakdown on the deep outs play from the single back spread. What I'm about to do right now is a breakdown on the single back spread for a play that you can kind of mix in with that, that is gonna be really, really effective. And one of my favorite quick passes, um, and what I like about being under center is it, it gives you the opportunity to get the ball out quick, um, which I think can't be taken for granted, especially if you can understand how to get your pass protection down, which we broke that down um, last week. So anyway, we're going to be facing 3-3-5 wide. It's probably the most common defense you're going to face, especially if you go under center. And the play that I'm going to be going over today is smash, uh, smash corners, as you see right here. Okay. So the reason I like this is because you get this sma these, um, these hitch routes on the outside. And these hitch, route on, hitch routes on the outside are really, really effective against zone coverage. What we're going to do is we're just going to smart route those hitch routes. And then all we're going to do is we're going to basically put both of our guys on um, little flat routes right here to create curl flats. And then I like to put my running back on an angle route if I have a backfield master. If I don't have that, I'll just block him. Okay. And honestly, I'll probably block him 70% of the time. So he's either going to go on that route right there or I'm going to block him. Okay. One of the two things. And the first coverage I want to go over against is the coverage that is going to be the most likely to be effective against deep outs, and that's Tampa 2. This play actually kills Tampa 2 because you're running a curl flat concept to the outside. Um, now all you're going to do here is basically uh, at the snap of the ball, you're going to wait for just a second, and you'll see that these curl routes are going to come open to the inside. You see that every single time against cover 2 coverage, this co they, these curl routes are, uh, are like basically smart route of hitchers they're going to come open against the cover too. We'll show this to you on the other side as well. Um, and I think this is one of the most effective concepts in Madden 21. Um, the one thing you want to make sure you do so you don't get that little SWAT animation um, is you want to make sure that you basically go ahead and low ball and pass lead inside these routes against cover two. Right, so right there, as you can see. So um, it's going to beat cover two really, really well. Now, the other thing that you can do if you wanted to is you could actually put um, maybe one of your one of your slot receivers on. You could do double zigs as well if you wanted to do something like that. Uh, and the reason why that works really well is because if they're playing like backed off coverage, you could just throw the zig and get about five yards as well against the same type of coverage. You're going to get basically the same thing as far as the opening windows of it. But the reason I like to put them on flat routes it's because basically at the snap of the ball, if I want to, I can just pop this out here really quickly. And because you're in single back spread as opposed to shotgun spread, these flat routes are going to do a really, really good job for you as far as getting down the field quick. So if they're not playing hard flats on both sides, you're just looking out to there real quick. Anyone in that grass? Nope. Okay, we'll throw it and we'll get five to six yards. And if we break a tackle, that could be a, that could be a touchdown. Now, if you want to get um, one of my other schemes here from the West Coast Playbook, I did a two-hour breakdown on the far tight slot offense, one of my favorite offenses in Madden history. And if you want to get that or if you want to get some of our advanced tactics, I have a text message membership, which is completely free for you to sign up for. Basically, all you have to do is shoot me a text message. My number is in the top left-hand corner of your screen. Um, but literally, just shoot me a text message. It's also in the description, by the way. Uh, and let me know you want to get those tips. We have schemes ranging from all different types of play styles. We have big nickel over G defense. We have the uh, gun bunch, the um, New England U trips. We have uh, this single back, or I'm sorry, the far tight slot from the West Coast playbook. We have a slot offset, split close. I mean, you name it. We have a, pretty much most of the top, top schemes. And so, uh, and they're full breakdowns. They're full scheme breakdowns over 45 minutes to an hour on each video. So really, really high depth and really, really um, high level tips there. So if you want to pick up those videos, all you gotta do is just shoot me a text message. Again, my number is 812-216-3644. So you'll, you'll notice in here that what, what this is going to force your opponent to do, like cover two is, in my opinion, the best at defending this. 
and you're seeing like they'll sit on it for just a second but i can hit that like quick and i can hit it over and over and over again right so what that's going to force your opponent to do is it's going to force them to play some type of hard flats now maybe they play hard flats from cover two right you never know so if they play hard flats you're just reading once again is there someone in that area okay yes there is okay then i'm pass leading up the curl and as you can see it's going to get over the top of the defense now you might be saying well what if they um you know what if they double flat right what if they double flat out of a cover two that's a great point um basically i'll show you that really quickly now the beauty of this is that double flatting both sides doesn't stop it to me that's what makes this like super super effective is they can't just double flat both sides um you're going to find that out really quickly here so Again, the snap of the ball, I'm reading both sides. Do they jump out? Okay, they do jump out. So I'm gonna go to my next progression, which is a low ball pass lead inside to the curl route. And as you can see, the cover two cloud flat zone does not cover this. It does not cover this. So real quick, we'll show you an instant replay here. This is double flat in cover two. You see, I'm looking there and I see that they do go out. Okay, they do go out there. Now we're gonna show you something for that as well, um, as far as that halfback angle route. But what you'll see right here, they go out. And you see there's an easy window on both sides, right? Both sides. Both sides have the same issue. So you're going to be able to be, you know, beating that coverage on both sides. Now, what I really like to do, too, is let's say that they, um, and you can literally run this on any, any point in the field. This is one of my favorite red zone plays, actually. But let's say they run that same concept from a cover two where they double flat. Basically, they double flat um, both sides, Okay. So this is double flatting both sides. This is where the angle route can come really in handy. So it's just snap a little through. You're just snap throwing it. Literally, you're just snap throwing the ball. Now, if you didn't have, if you don't have an angle route and you really want to tr try that concept, then you could basically just put him on a streak route. Um, put the running back on a little streak right at the seam. And what you'll notice is this actually. Um, let me get my defense set up here, specifically for that double flat situation which you will see that their user is oftentimes going to be going to the right at the snap of the ball because of some of the snap throws and stuff we've been doing. So we're just going to put this little streak out and they're not going to expect this, but this thing is going to kill it. As you see there, do the little quick read, little dump off to the back. So you have that option as well. Now you might be asking, well, what about like, what about like cover three Mabel? Okay. A lot of people are running cover three Mabel. Um, in my opinion, it's one of the most effective coverages in the game. So let's show you cover three Mabel. Now this is where they're going to put their curl flats at 20 yards and their hard flats are going to be at five yards or they're just going to play the default depth of, of whatever. Well, um, what that's going to do is kind of similar to that cover two defense, right? So I look to the snap, okay, they jump out there, but if I wait just a second, you'll see that those 30 yard or 20 yard curl flat zones don't get back to guard Mike Evans. They don't get back to guard Scotty Miller on this play. They don't get back to guard these hitch routes. Now, let's say that you were in a situation where um, they were playing like default drops, like they, they weren't doing zone drops. If they were not doing zone drops, then that would be a, another story. They would have a better chance to stop these curl routes. And that's where, you know, if you're running back on like a little block and relay, Texas or something like that, um, this is gonna work. But another thing you can try um, against those five yard hard flats is if you let the, if you leave, um, the smash or i'm sorry the hitches if you leave them on their default drop you actually will have a decent amount of success with this and this is where if i wanted to do this play um and i don't talk about this a ton but this is one of my favorite plays from spread and the reason why is because if you literally just put the flat routes out there and you don't have to smart route these hitches you just put them out there like this these little quick reads right here are really really easy and they're really really effective um, the, the curl routes, like if they're doing curl flat routes, they're not gonna, they're not gonna go through. And let me show you what I'm talking about. So if I go to cover three buzz, right. And I set up two curl flats and two hard flats, right. And then what I do is I, uh, let's say that I play the stick so that the zones reset. What you'll see here is it doesn't always happen, but there is a chance that these curl flat routes will play these curl routes. See that right there? See how they jump? See how they play that? Okay. So you see that. They play the curl routes. So do you have some other tools in your toolkit? Yes, you do. 100% um, you do. So uh, let's, say that, let's say that they're doing that. 
or that I'm expecting that, or that I just don't want to deal with that, and I just want this to be a simple yard gaining play. I'm not trying to get 10 yards. I'm just trying to get five, right? And honestly, out of West Coast, that's how you want to play. Just leave these hitches as a default drop. If you leave them at default, what you'll notice here is, is that that curl flat will still go to the curl flat, right? It'll go to 10 yards. That means it doesn't stop the hitch, which is really, really huge in my opinion. So you can still get a quick five, you know, a quick six, quick seven, um, and not have to worry about it. What about man coverage? Uh, man coverage just works like a charm. It's just one of my favorite plays against man coverage. And the reason why is because, again, those flats are going to get pulled out on both sides. The flats are not going to be a problem. They're not going to be an issue for you. But the beauty of this is, again, it's on both sides of the field, okay? And also, from a man coverage perspective, they're going to become basically, like if I smart routed these hitches, because these hitches are on the line of scrimmage, they're going to get these instant, in, instant, basically little settle up animations. So you see right there, it doesn't go the default 10 yard depth. It only goes about five yards, uh, if that. And so against press man-to-man -man coverage, this is only against press man-to-man -man coverage, but it gives you basically an automatic, uh, automatic inside posi position against man-to-man -man coverage on both sides of the field. Your job is to low ball and bullet pass to the inside. If you don't bullet pass this to the inside, you will be sending me text messages saying, why in the world did you recommend this play? You have to, have to, have to bullet pass these things to the inside. And so that's why sometimes like on short yardage, especially like on the goal line, I'll literally just run this play and I, all I'll do is flat the inside guys, put the running back on an angle route. Um, they're, they're typically going to use with the running back. Okay. So if you put that running back on, um, on an angle route, then they're typically going to use her that just so you're aware. So again, let me just show you your progression against man. The running back does beat man to man coverage. As you see there, a little quick read, right? Quick dump off against man to man coverage that you do have access to that quick pass. But um, the one thing that I want you to be aware of is they're oftentimes going to use the running back. But again, let's say let's say you're facing um, let's say you're facing Tampa two, okay? So you're facing Tampa two. What you'll notice is once again these things are going to just sit. The vertical hooks won't actually go out to guard them because it's from the hitch route is from the outside receiver. That's another thing that I really like about this concept. And the beauty of this is you don't actually have to just run this concept on both sides. I really like to run it like this. This is my preferred way to run this concept right here. Like I think this play right here is one of the hardest stop plays to stop in the entire game. But in Tampa 2, let's say they go hard underneath coverage, hard flats on the outside. You see, once again, that's and right there. I got an inaccurate pass, but but you're not going to have an issue. You, you really won't with this thing. Um, I, I've run this from gun spread all season. Um, in my opinion, this is the one concept that I don't run enough because it's not a huge play. It's a simple yard gaining play. But what you'll find when you run this play is it's really tough to stop. Um, again, you have to make sure that when you, when you throw these hitches, though, this is something really, really important because you just saw me throw two picks. Um, when you throw these hitches, you really have to make sure that you are low balling and passing them inside. And then when you click onto the receiver, you almost, um, at least in my experience, you can either possession catch these or you can aggressive catch these. Those are your two options. And I have found that aggressive catching them is more consistent. Um, like right there, just aggressive. And again, you don't want to touch pass it. By, any, by all means, don't touch pass it. But just, just simply... Lab this up a little bit, learn how to make this user catch here. But these user catches will be really, really effective because again, even if they hard flat, even if they play underneath, you can click on, you can aggressive catch it, cut it off and you can go. So these are snap throws. These are quick little routes that you can go to that are really, really effective. So hope you enjoyed this video. Hope this breakdown was useful. If you want to get the full far tight slot scheme, just shoot me a text. My phone number is 812 216-3644. We'll see you tonight at 10 o'clock for our live stream.